Hello, I'm Rand here, and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Persevere AC1200 Dual Gigabyte uh, Wi-Fi Range Extender. Now, this isn't going to be so much a review of the product as more of a how-to on how to set this product up. Now, this uh, company contacted me and asked me to uh, review this uh, here, and they wanted more of a video on how to set it up. So, they did send this to me for free to uh, review here, so just FYI on that. And uh, what they were asking for is mostly how, or I guess a lot of people get confused on how to set this up. What is a Wi-Fi repeater? Now this uh, particular Wi-Fi repeater can also be an access point and a router. So uh, worth noting here, this has three functions. It's a Wi-Fi repeater, or it can be a Wi-Fi repeater, it can be an access point, and it can be a router. One at a time, of course, not all three at the same time necessarily. Uh, so we're going to be kind of trying to look at all three modes here today. Uh, we're starting out with the Wi-Fi repeater. That is obviously probably the mode most of you are probably going to buy this for because that's what it is advertised for. But just know it can be an access point and a router as well. Now, real quick here, for those of you not familiar with these three modes, Wi-Fi repeater mode. Again, that's if you're buying this, that's what it's advertised as, probably what you're going to buy it for. Uh, if you're going to use it in the Wi-Fi repeater mode, it is designed to take... Uh, signal from your existing router access point and extend it. Meaning you might have your, I'll just use my phone here as an example, you might have your Wi-Fi router or access point in one room and then maybe a couple rooms down in your house, you know, your Wi-Fi is not the greatest, the signal strength is not too good. So you buy one of these, put that in one of the rooms in between and that will extend your Wi-Fi signal. So that's kind of the idea behind a Wi-Fi repeater. Now the key with a Wi-Fi repeater is it needs to be able to get a good signal from your router or your Wi-Fi access point, wherever your original Wi-Fi is coming from. That is the key. If it cannot get a good signal, it's not going to be able to extend a good signal. So uh, keep that in mind, everyone. I do see that quite a bit. Uh, people buy these, they buy a Wi-Fi repeater, and well, it doesn't work very good. Well, is it getting a good signal from your existing access point Wi-Fi router? Double check, make sure it is, because if it's not, guess what? It's not going to send out a very good signal. Uh, next mode is an access point. <clears throat> uh, so if your current router doesn't have Wi-Fi and or you just want a second access point, uh, this, for those of you uh, familiar with my setup, this is kind of how I have my setup done. I've got essentially access points. I don't Wi-Fi repeat, I've got three routers that provide Wi-Fi. They are all wired and connected together, essentially becoming access points. So as an access point, you're going to have to run an Ethernet wire to this device from your router, wherever your internet is coming from, you're going to have to run a wire to an Ethernet wire, and of course you'll need power too, by the way. So you're going to have to run a wire to it, and then it will provide Wi-Fi in that area, of course. Next mode, router mode, means you can use this as a router, and then of course it has the Wi-Fi as well. So you can plug uh, from your modem into this. This has a, wi a WAN port on it. It also has one LAN port as well, by the way, and this does have, or supports, gigabyte on those ports, by the way. So uh, from your modem, you can plug into this and have Wi-Fi and one, one LAN port. You can also, by the way, you could put a switch on that as well, probably, and uh, extend that. So, let's uh, get that out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, everyone. So, in the box here, we have the unit itself. And this is really all that's to it. It's pretty much just this unit here, and that is it. Uh, there's some instructions here. Also, I can't say I've ever seen this in a uh, box before, but a thank you card. I thought that was rather interesting. And there's uh, some warranty information on the back there as well. And like I said, some uh, basic directions here and some more directions. I don't know why they, they give you two different sheets of directions here. From what I can tell, they're kind of both about the same. So it seems kind of odd. And then there is one Ethernet cable in this box as well. I'm not going to bother getting that out because I don't think we really need that here. So here's the device. Uh, it has four antennas on it. And you can kind of uh, spread those out there just a little bit. And it does actually show you in uh, the book here, or in the instructions somewhere, kind of how to fan these antennas out for the best coverage. On the back, just one plug. It just plugs straight into a wall outlet like that, or a socket. And uh, on the side here, 
you have your mode selection. So you have access point mode, that is to the far side there. Uh, you've got repeater mode, that's in the middle. So it's in repeater mode, and then router mode, and then there's an on off there as well. So we'll just uh, we'll put that back to on here for now. And uh, for starters here, we're going to start off with the repeater mode. Again, that's if you're buying this, probably what you're going to be using it for. Uh, there is a reset on this side, as well as a WPS button on the uh, front there. Personally, I've never really used that. Uh, my current routers have that as well, but I don't typically use that. So let's, uh, let's get started here. We're going to have to plug this in here somewhere, and then we'll start configuring this unit. Okay, well, I've got the uh, Persevere Wi-Fi repeater plugged in here, getting to the uh, plug on the back. I just got it in an extension cord here at the moment. And then I'm going to use my phone here to uh, configure it. You don't necessarily have to use your phone. You can use a uh, computer as well. But I figured I'd use my phone here as that would probably be the easiest way to uh, show you folks how to do this. And uh, to show you, it is possible to configure these on one of your phones. So if maybe you don't have a desktop or you don't want to bother using your desktop, laptop, whatever to do this, you can use your phone, and in some ways it's probably actually easier to use your phone. So, to get started here, let's uh, fire it up here. So, first thing that we're going to do here is make sure the unit is powered on. Once the unit is powered on, I'm going to uh, connect to its Wi-Fi on my phone here. So, we're going to wait for the Wi-Fi list to load here, and we're looking for either wireless AC or wireless N, depending on what your phone supports or your a laptop or desktop, you might see one, you might see both. Uh, in my case, my phone supports both wireless N standard and wireless AC standard, so I'm seeing both. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to the wireless AC here. Now that we're connected to that, I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser. In this case, we'll just uh, use the uh, Chrome web browser here on my phone. And we're going to go to HTTP. Uh, colon slash ap dot setup and uh, load that hit go and we'll uh, hopefully reload it here okay there we go now that we uh, type that in we can uh, log in default password is admin highly suggest you uh, change that and it will ask us actually to do so once we log in here okay now we need to set our country region we're going to set that to us in my case time zone we'll set this to eastern time zone and the new password login let's see well let me do this probably not we're going to see what's here okay well let's just uh we're going to set it to something simple here just for uh sake of setting this up okay and now way we are setting this up we are currently in wi-fi repeater mode so you have uh, gateway, which is recommended, or bridge mode. And then we got several choices here of Wi-Fi connections available. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to the uh, 5 gigahertz one I currently have. Uh, Wi-Fi password. going to go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, connect to that. And it may take a moment here for this to uh, connect and get set up. And now that we're pretty much done with this, and yes, everyone, that is how easy it is to set this repeater up. Uh, I would now take this repeater to wherever I wanted to. Uh, again, you might have to uh, play with it just a little bit to get in the right spot to get the best Wi-Fi signal. Because, again, everyone, keep in mind with the repeater here, you need to make sure that this unit is getting a good signal. And then, of course, you want, you know, wherever you're, want the signal to be extended to you're getting a decent signal too so you might have to uh, play with it there just a little bit ideally you're going to want this to have a the best signal it can get and then of course you want it sending out the best signal but keep in mind again it's not going to send out the best signal if it's not getting the best signal okay well after about a minute there the uh, device here has finished uh, whatever it does initializing here and it should be set up and if you look here it is showing connection strength on there so we'll just uh, back out of this. Let's go to the uh, status page here. Ah, right. Because I have configured this here, now I've lost my uh, connection to that. So now I should be able to go back to my Wi-Fi here. Yep, we are connected back to my Wi-Fi. And we should be good. 
Now if we uh, check this device here, of course my uh, wireless access point is not too far away. Uh, if you look at this here, it is receiving a uh, perfect signal here, as indicated by the bars right there. So you can see it has full signal strength. And that's pretty much how easy it is to set up this Wi-Fi repeater here. Everyone, we're done. Like I said, you might have to play with it a little bit to get it in the right location. But at this point, it is doing its job and extending the uh, signal. Next, everyone, we're going to go over how to use this as an access point, and then not to mention a router as well. Essentially, they're basically almost both going to be the same here, everyone. Uh, an access point, it's just going to be for providing Wi-Fi, meaning you're going to connect this device to your current router, and this this current this router here it does happen to provide uh, Wi-Fi as well. But maybe you have a router that doesn't provide Wi-Fi, or Maybe you're doing like what I'm doing and having more than one router providing access. Uh, for example, where I live here, for some reason, uh, the Wi-Fi signals do not like to go through the walls in this house. So I do have two, not necessarily this particular device, of course, but uh, two devices providing Wi-Fi access. So you can use it in that scenario. So in order to use this in a Wi-Fi access point, you first have to set it in AP mode. That's on the side here. So you'd switch this to access point. And then you'd have to run a wire from your current router to this device and plug into the LAN port. Now underneath here, there are two ports. Again, these are gigabit ports here. You would plug into the LAN port. LAN, L-A-N port. So I'll just uh, plug it in there. Uh, you now have access to this uh, device. And uh, similar to how we did the first time around when setting this up as a repeater, you would log into the device and then rather than connecting to a Wi-Fi network, you're going to be asked to set up a Wi-Fi network. So you'd uh, give it a name, give it a password, and you'd be basically finished at that point. And then you can connect to this device. Now, if you're using it as an access point along with another router, I would suggest you give it the same name and password that this router has, that way uh, let's say you know you got your phone, you can connect to either device and your phone will automatically connect to whatever device has the strongest and or the best signal. So that's how we would use this as an access point. Everyone again, basically the same type of concept there, except make sure you have to have a wire connected to it. It has to go from your device that is providing internet, router, and then connect to the LAN port. And from your router, by the way, you would connect from the LAN port to a LAN port. So on this router, you're going from a LAN port to another LAN port. Don't connect the WAN port to the WAN port. That is not how you connect it in the access point mode. Okay, next we're gonna cover how to use this as a router. And then being used as a router, it can also, of course, provide Wi-Fi as well. So like I was saying, everyone, the access point and router mode are almost identical, uh, with the exception of you can plug your modem straight into this and use it as a router. Uh, again, for those who are not familiar with the internet, you have to have a router in between your provider and you. It routes the data, essentially. In, in general terms, let's, uh, we'll just leave it as that to make this uh, simple. So you would switch this uh, switch here to the far end into router mode. Uh, then you'd have to get in and configure, depending on what your modem, your internet provider requires. I can't necessarily walk you through that, everyone, because, again, it's going to be different depending on what your internet provider requires to be set up on here as far as settings go but you have to go through those settings again check the manual for that that should help you with that one and then you can go in and set up your Wi-Fi similar to the way you would with your access point set up Wi-Fi and then you'll have Wi-Fi on this as well so this would be a pretty quick and simple uh, router as well uh, and then of course if you're using it as a router more than likely again consult your uh, internet provider modem instructions might vary slightly, but you would most likely be using the WAN port. So you'd go from your modem, this isn't a modem here, but let's just say it is, you would go from your modem to the WAN port. And then of course you can uh, plug a computer or other connected device into here as well, just uh, one device, but it does have one port there that can go out to your computer, or you could plug it into a switch, and then of course from the switch you can go to multiple devices there as well, that's another option. Okay, so there we go, everyone. That's going to wrap it up for this uh, video here. This is the uh, Persevere Wi-Fi repeater slash access point slash router. Uh, quite a powerful little device here. And hopefully you've seen this video. Very, very easy to configure, everyone. Pretty much you plug it in, wait for the uh, connections to appear. In this case, just using my phone here to uh, set it up. 
uh, connect to it, log in through the uh, web interface there, and then uh, select your existing Wi-Fi. So whatever your Wi-Fi is, select it, enter the password for it, connect to it, wait a few moments to set it up, and you're done. And then, of course, uh, find the best location for it. Again, everyone, I cannot emphasize it enough. You really want to take your time finding the location for this. Again, if this does not have a good signal, it will not send out a good signal. And I know I've repeated that a few times, everyone, but that seems to uh, really get a lot of people, so really making sure I emphasize that. And then, of course, again, everyone, you can also use this as an access point. So, again, you would connect to the LAN port to your existing router, Wi-Fi router, and you can either use it as the access point, meaning the Wi-Fi, one Wi-Fi, or you can use it as a second access Wi-Fi access point, uh, or even more if you have more of them. And then uh, the third option, of course, everyone, you can use this as a router as well, and as that router, it will provide uh, Wi-Fi on top of that. So quite a powerful little device here. Again, it plugs straight into a wall outlet. That is how it is designed to be used. And then uh, just has a signal indicator on the front here to indicate how strong of a signal it is receiving. Emphasis here on this is the uh, strength of the signal it is receiving, not the strength of the signal it's sending out, everyone. The strength of the signal it's sending out should be 100. It's perfect coming out from here. So this is the uh, strength of the signal it's receiving if it's in Wi-Fi repeater mode. Again, you really want to watch these bars. Well, again, everyone, when, if you're placing it down, you all just go plug it in in a room. It's like, oh, well, that's only one bar. Then. That's not good. Try somewhere else. Try to get it to three bars. And then, of course, you know, you might have to play, okay, well, I don't have good signal coming from here on here. Like I said, everyone, it's going to take some playing. So if folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to uh, leave them below. Again, if you'd like to check this device out, I will have a link down in the description below. Uh, any other comments or questions be appreciated. And thanks for watching, and until next time.